preservation of local and public property there are many things around us some of these are our own possession for example our house clothes television pen pencil school bag and books these belong only to us these are called private property but there are other things around us such as roads parks temples street lights trains buses museums monuments and stations these do not belong to any particular person they are facilities used by the public that is by all of us these are called public property let us learn how we can protect preserve our public properties monuments and museums monuments are part of our heritage these are buildings preserved because of their historical importance we should be proud of them it is our duty to preserve them we must not deface the walls or damage them in any way we should not pollute the area around or near a monument damaging a historical monument is punishable by law the government has a special department called the archaeological survey of india asi it is responsible for looking after historical monuments and sites museums are buildings in which objects of artistic cultural historical or scientific interests are displayed they are a source of education and information when we visit museum we must ensure we do not damage or destroy any object we must ensure we do not litter the place or disobey any instructions we must not steal any object too the money we pay as entrance fee to a monument or museum is used for their maintenance hence it is our duty to pay it a park parks are places with the green plants grass and flowers in cities and towns there are parks in many localities these are mostly maintained by the municipal corporations or municipal committees a visit to a park refreshes our mind and body it is a place where the young and the old come to enjoy themselves parks are meant to play to walk or just sit and relax most parks have slides seesaws swings and other play equipments parks have benches 
and sometimes fountains too. While visiting a park, we should not pluck flowers or trample on the grass. We should not litter the park. We should not damage swings, slides and other play equipments. If we go to a park for a picnic, we must ensure we do not leave the place without cleaning and, and clearing it up. Parks are public property and need to be cared for. Places of Worship Every city or town has places of worship like temples, mosques, churches, etc. These are holy places and should always be kept clean. We must not write on the walls of the temple or throw garbage in and around the temple. We should avoid giving alms to beggars who sit around the temple and dirty the place. We should not damage or steal any objects or ideals. We should stop other people from doing so too. Libraries These are places where books are kept for people to read. We borrow books from the library to read. We must ensure we do not tear off pages from the books or dirty them. Public transport Trains, trams and buses are public transport used commonly by us. We need these to travel from one place to another. While traveling in these, we should not damage the seats, break window pans, steal bulbs or taps, throw garbage in them. Tanks Tanks are used especially in villages to collect rainwater for use during the dry period. The water is used for irrigation and other purposes. It is important that the tanks are protected from pollution. Bathing of cattle should not be done in tanks or near the tanks. We must use public property with care. If we damage public property, we will harm ourselves as we will not be able to use them properly. Public properties are maintained with the money we pay as taxes. Hence, we should pay our taxes regularly.